Good morning. My name is Todd Worth. I'm one of the founders of Infinite Red. I'm a developer and a designer. I wrote a library for RubyMotion called Ruby Motion Query or RMQ. RMQ is a fast, non-magical, non-polluting jQuery-like library for RubyMotion. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to RMQ and show you why it's so cool. All you need to start is Ruby installed and Ruby Motion installed, and then we can get going. So I have Ruby 1.93 and I have Motion 2.9. Now I'm going to install Ruby Motion Query. Jam install Ruby Motion Query. It's quick, easy. Okay, we have that installed. We get the RMQ command. Just do a dot H, show you all the commands. Let's go ahead and create an app. RMQ create my app. Uh, just like Rails, it's going to create a standard project. Let's go in there, let's run bundle, and let's go ahead and run it. First time you run rake, it's gonna compile all the files, which takes a little bit. And it's not terribly slow. I'm on a, a MacBook Pro Retina to give you a frame reference. And then it runs, and there we go. We have our Hello World UI label. So let's go ahead and show all of our structure. Do an RMQ all log, which shows you we have one label. If we do a tree, you can see we have our root view and we have our hello world label. Now, just like jQuery, we can select views in a variety of ways. One way we can do it is by their style name. In this case, their style name is hello world. And we just go ahead and make that blink. Now, let's do that again. This time, let's not select that particular label. Let's select all labels. In this case, there's only one. And it blinked again, which is very cool. You could also do UI view, which would be all UI views. So let's go ahead and move that up a little, and we can use the move command. Um, you can also set the frame and stuff in style. So let's move it up to 50. Now you can see I use top, but you can also use T, which is much more convenient. Same with for left and L, width and W, etc. Okay, let's add a button so we can actually do something. So we're gonna use the append command, which just like jQuery, appends an object to the end of, well, the DOM, structure in jQuery's case, but in this case to the subview array. So we're going to set our frame. As you can see here, I use LTWH. Um, those don't have to be in a certain order. So this is similar to the way teacup does styling, except for teacup uses a hash and we actually use code. And that has some advantages and the reason why I chose that. I'll explain that in the later video. So let's set the background color black, the front or the color of the text to white, and then the text to click me. Now the button doesn't do anything, but we can see it here in our view array. It's not an array, but it's a tree of arrays. It's what we use in RMQ as our DOM, although it's not a DOM. Every controller has its own DOM is the way you can think of it. Okay, so let's add an event. In this case, it's the on tap event. In iOS SDK, there actually are events and there are gestures. RMQ normalizes those into one system, um, which works for 99% of what you need. Okay, so as you see, when you click on the button, it changes the UI view with style hello world. It's text to clicked. So that's pretty cool, pretty fast. You can just do it right here in the console. Okay, let's do something fun. So we're gonna create 20 buttons, and so we're gonna do an append, UI button. Now we're gonna tag them as foo. Now tags are really cool. You can actually do a lot with them. Uh, I'll explain more later, but just think of them as classes in CSS. We can have multiple tags per UI view. So we're tagging them as foo, and we're gonna go ahead and move them. Left and top, gonna to do random 200, so they're spread around. And then we'll just set a static width and height. This is actually gonna be really kind of cool. And you can do all this in the console, uh, which if it's easy in the console, then it's gonna be easy in code. It's a pretty good way to look at it. So okay, I have moved it to move them to the location. I'm gonna go ahead and set their text to something. We'll just do like a random number. So that they're all different. Let's just do 100. Okay. And let's finish that. And there we go. We can't see them because they're white on white. Well you can see them a little there on the click me. So let's go ahead and make the background blue. Now, 
I'm just going to select all the foos. If I selected all the UI buttons, it would get the click me, which I don't want. So I'm going to grab all the foo, which means any UI view in this DOM, in this controller, that um, has the tag foo. Now let's go ahead and set their background color just to blue. Our RMQ has all sorts of cool stuff like color, fonts, uh, utilities. So let's make that blue. Boom. Ah, all blue. Very cool. So let's move them down so they're not hugging the top there. Now you saw move, but we also have nudge, which is a little down. You can nudge things up, down, right, left, which is actually kind of cool, especially in the console. So let's move them down a little bit more. Okay, so here's a cool part. So let's make all those buttons do something. So because RMQ, like jQuery, selects views and then every action that you do on those views is done on all the views, and even if you select something that comes up with an empty array, this all works. So we're going to do an on tap event. And then every time you tap that a button, we're going to do animate it and we're going to do a drop and spin, which is, drops it off the screen and spins it every time one of those clicked. And you can see how quickly I just did that. Boom, 21 done. And as I click them, isn't this fun? They just fly off the screen. Now we just did all this in the console very easily. That's actually really cool. Okay, let me just drop all the UI views off the screen because, well, we like a fresh new screen. So I'm selecting all UI views and then drop them off. Super cool. So in later videos, I'll explain all sorts of things and how to actually program an app and various features. I just wanted to give you a taste of how cool Ruby Motion Query is. Just Google Ruby Motion Query. Have fun.